first lesson we're going to learn today is what parallels are used for. Well, here's a good example here. Here's a block of steel that I have to machine in this vise. Well, guess what? It's too, it's too, the vise is too deep. So, what do we do here? Well, how do we know this is straight? How can I, how can I make sure it's straight? Well, that's what we use parallels for. So, if we come over here, we've got a full set of parallels here. They come in quarter inch increments. You take a set of parallels out that'll make sure the piece is above the vise, that's good, and that holds as much of the part as you can. So now when we tighten that down, our part has been raised so it won't, uh, when our machine tool comes across, it won't run into our $500 vise here, and my boss is a happy guy. So that's what parallels are used for. Now if we come over here, again this is a full set, and these are six inches long to match a six inch long milling machine vise. I come over here, same thing, this is a little grinding vise, and if you can see on here, this is too low. Again, what will I do to get that straight? We put a parallel in. Now we put this in and tighten our vise, we're above our work, our work holding device, so when we're working, we're not running into our piece. The set I showed you originally, the six inch parallels are used for milling, but as you go through your career, you end up with a lot of parallels. As you can see, I've got nine inch long ones, I've got all these little ones over here for different applications. And, and over the course of 30 years, one of the things you'll end up with is a lot of little blocks and parallels to set your work up on. So that's your little lesson in parallels uh, broadcasted today from the greatest shop in Erie, Industrial Sales and Manufacturing. I'm Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and I'll see you on the next video.